Programming. To enter programming, press the programming button twice. Wait three seconds between presses. The screen will quickly read Programmation and then change to read Present Failures. Once in programming, navigate from topic to topic by using the number 1 and 5 buttons. Adjusting Water and Powder Levels To adjust the water or powder level in the cup of any drink, it is first necessary to reference the tables provided on the product chart that is shipped with each machine. This will allow you to understand which channel affects which drink. Once you are in programming, press the number 5 button once and the display will read Water Dose. Next, press the number 6 button and the first channel will appear which will be Dose C1. Now, using the number 1 and number 5 buttons, scroll to the channel you would like to change. Once you have reached the channel you would like to change, press the number 7 button and this will make the current number flash. By pressing the number 1 button, you can decrease the number. By pressing the number 5 button, you can increase the number. You will see to make any kind of negligible difference in water levels, you will have to increase the number by at least 10. Powder dose numbers are tenths of a second, so increasing powder dose by 10 will result in throwing an extra one second of product. When you get to the number you desire, press the number 6 button to confirm your change and to stop the number from flashing. Power the machine down to record the change and wait 5 seconds before powering it back up. Setting Prices To be able to set prices, you must first be in the programming mode. Next, you must establish which prices are assigned to which price lines. This can be achieved by scrolling through the topics until you get to the topic, Setting Prices. As always, you enter this category by pressing the number 6 button. Once you have entered this category, you will find what each price line is set by scrolling with the number 1 and number 5 buttons. If you want to change a price, scroll to the price you would like to change. Press the number 7 button. At this point, the price should be flashing. By pressing the number 1 or 5 button, scroll to the price you desire and press button number 6 to confirm. At this point, it may be a wise idea to record which price is assigned to which price line to avoid confusion in the next step. Now, press the number 2 button and this will put you back into the main programming menu. The next step is to actually assign the price lines that exist to the selection desired. Keep in mind that you have not yet assigned prices to individual selections. You have merely created or altered the price table. By pressing the number 5 button once, the display will now read Set Prices. Enter the category by pressing button number 6. The first thing you will see is button 1 equals on. This means the drink or button is on and can be used. In the event you did not want to make a drink available, you could scroll to that particular drink, press button number 7, and change it to off. However, in the majority of the cases, we will assume the user will want to make all drinks available. Therefore, we will concentrate on assigning prices to selections. The selections in the programming correspond to the drinks in that order. For instance, in the typical default menu button 2 is black coffee, drink 5 is cappuccino, and drink 7 is French vanilla, and so on. Scroll to the drink number you want to set by using the number 1 or 5 buttons. Press the number 6 button and the price line will be displayed. Make the price line flash by pressing the number 7 button and change the price to the one you wish. This is where it will be handy to have your notes from earlier, illustrating which price is set to which price line. It is critical to know which selection you are setting and the value of each price line. After your changes are made, power the machine down and wait for 5 seconds. This will record your changes in the controller, and at this point, your prices will be set. 
Set up the internal clock and wash cycle. As part of your setup procedure, you should be sure the internal clock and wash cycle is programmed. This is very simple. Once you are in programming, simply scroll to Set Date Time. Enter by pressing the number 6 button and scroll through the time and date settings, making the appropriate adjustments. After the date and clock have been set up, press the number 2 button, which will return you to the main menu. Scroll to Set Washing and enter the category. The display will read Washing 2400. This means that the washing cycle is disabled. Press the number 7 button and the 24 will begin to flash. Make your desired changes to the wash time you select. Many users set their time to wash at 0, 100. This will enable the machine to run an automatic wash cycle at 1 a.m. When the automatic cycle is run, it generally fills one 8 and one quarter ounce cup approximately two-thirds full. To reinitialize the Calibri LX. To reinitialize the Calibri LX, enter the programming in the manner described earlier using the number 5 button to scroll to initializing. Press button number 6 and the word confirm with a question mark will be flashing. Press button number 6 again and the following prompts will appear. Machine type C to confirm with button number 6. Country equals USA to confirm with button number 6. Layout 1 will flash. Confirm or change to desired layout. Layouts are described in more detail in the selection table pamphlet that is shipped with your machine. Tank off will flash, which confirms with button number 6 as well. Your Calibri LX has now been reinitialized. Keep in mind the default program includes drink prices. If your machine is completely free vend, all prices will need to be reset to zero or machines that are priced will need to be reset accordingly.